Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. I hope you're doing oh so well if you're new to the channel. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo baby. This is going to be a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If you find something that does resonate with you, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. Now I shuffled the cards and these two came out and I put them back. But guess what happened? They came back out. So... With regards to zodiac signs, we have strong Taurus energy here. It could be a Taurus that's thinking about you. It could be a Libra. It could also be an Earth sign. And I was trying to figure out, what are you trying to tell me, Tarot? Because usually I'm quite sceptical and, and I'm used to three of swords, five of cups, sad energy with regards to who's it is thinking about you. But whoever this is, you've almost been like a mentor to them. I th I feel like whoever it is that's thinking about you, you put a smile on their face. That's what I. That's the first thing I thought. It's not concentrating, uh, focusing on the card there. But the hyphen is all about lessons, um, listening to your own inner guide, uh, self actualization, spirituality. Yeah, maybe the person that's thinking about you um, really picked up on a lot of that energy around you and you you guided them in some sort of way you've guided them Virgo we are the sign of service and a lot of us a lot of us know this but a lot of us don't know this and we have the ability to heal people and to guide them and to comfort them and to give to be the voice of reason as an unconditional love here this person loves you for that it's an unconditional love the Queen of Pentacles is confirmation that someone is thinking about you. You're self-made. You are well-rounded. You are generous, kind. And you radiate a lot of love, baby. A lot of love. And the person that's thinking about you knows this, sees this, feels this. We will clarify. When we clarify, it can change the whole dynamics of the reading. But that's what I've got for now. So now we're moving on to the wanting. Who wants Virgo? Someone from the past. It could be a Scorpio that wants you. Who wants Virgo? Who currently wants Virgo? Eight of Wands. Someone at a distance from you. Someone that maybe that you're in contact with or wants to be in contact with you. The Eight of Wands is about messages, emails, communication, uh, wanting to share some good news. Good news could be on the way. Someone that you met online, if I haven't said that already, or again, someone at a distance from me. But things have changed. It's a very transitional energy. One more card, who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? This page of pentacles has been coming out. And again, I've been avoiding it. I don't know why, but here it is again. Opportunities. Uh, page of pentacles is more for me like a career type of card new job opportunities okay there could be a new job coming your way but there's other meanings to the page Oof. <clears throat> um new connections someone that has a plan they're making a plan maybe a plan to communicate with you Okay, but the Page of Pentacles is also about new opportunities. So maybe someone wants a new opportunity here with you, a new era, a new chapter. Again, we will clarify my loves. Who truly loves Virgo is the next question. Who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? The chariot card this could be someone that is i really want to focus on this card there we go um it could be a cancer it could be someone that's a different skin complexion to you there could be dynamics in this connection whoever it is that truly loves you perhaps they're always on the go uh they like to achieve stuff they're determined to achieve something here with you perhaps all right I'm not sure with that energy, what Tara is trying to tell me. 
He truly loves third grade. I'll tell you something though, there's nothing really kind of negative here or sad in this energy. Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. So I do pick up on guarded energy with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is about protecting your peace. Uh, meditation it could be outside noises outside influences drama and you're kind of like maybe trying to keep away from that and just protect your peace maybe you're trying to protect yourself from this person or other people's opinions yeah it's enthusiastic with the page of wands here it's in you know your happiness is infectious your positivity is infectious and perhaps it's rubbed off on people around you so we'll start to clarify some cards then we'll see what's coming towards you in love baby tell me more about this empress card why is the empress card here remember what i was saying about healing king of cups one more card. Why is the Empress card here? Eight of Cups. Okay, Virgo, you, you still love despite how maybe you've been treated from someone in particular. Okay, you still care about them. Maybe they played you. Maybe they're quite dramatic with the King of Cups here in reverse bit of a drama queen or a drama king you know whining having excuses uh a pity party type of energy this person or at least it feels like this abandoned you there's distance between you guys both but again you still love unconditionally and you still heal you still heal my darling healing others You've been very patient with somebody here. Okay, clarify the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Nine of Swords. Someone, not for everybody. Somebody is going to express how much they miss you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? One more card. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Page of Pentacles again. Somebody wants a new beginning. Somebody wants to try again. And they're missing you. And it's... It's almost like frustrating them. They want to know what you're up to. Maybe you've given them the silent treatment. Maybe the energy's just changed and you're not as forthcoming as you once were with this person. But hand on heart, there is somebody here that is worried, worried that you're going to find someone new, worried that you're going to move on. And yeah, there's a lot of worry. Well, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> okay, why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Why is... I know a lot of you guys find it very difficult to express your emotions and open up your heart to people okay now it could be that you're being very stubborn about a situation with the seven of wands energy here that's why you're protecting your peace you're not expressing how you feel towards this person or a situation you're holding back virgo and i'm guessing that's for good reason yeah you're being somewhat stubborn and you're stuck in your ways and again i just feel like things have changed like you're never gonna get the same virgo back that they once had like things will never be the same you know exactly what i'm saying virgos i know you do and this is a very specific reading for specific virgos what's coming towards virgos in love what's coming towards virgos What's coming towards Virgos in love? What's coming towards Virgos in love? Q 
King of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. It's a very supportive card. Ooh. Four of Wands. Soulmates. For some of you guys. Two of Wands. So it could be some of you guys are sitting, waiting around or hoping, expecting someone to reach out. That could be their energy. But, um... I see someone here coming forward. And there is love, but there's also uncertainty. Maybe you feel like in limbo. Maybe this person feels in limbo. I need my Virgo. So we have, I remember every detail of that day. Hidden truth. What's the hidden truth? I wish things could be different. Is that how you feel? I'm afraid to contact you. Um, it could be fear of rejection. It could be fear of... It could be shame. Someone stays awake thinking about you, Virgo. Definitely with that Nine of Swords energy. I don't know how you're sleeping, Virgo. I don't know if that's you. But hey-ho, that's where I'm going to leave the reading. Hopefully something resonated with you. Please remember to smash the thumbs button. Show some love. I'd really appreciate it. Leave a comment, even if it's just a heart. It's going to help the algorithms and the channel grow. But for now, from one Virgo to another... I wish you love and abundance. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And a gift will catch you on the rebound.